I'm going to check on Sheila and uh, Sheila first. Hello, darling. How are you doing today? I know you were kind of pissed off yesterday. You all right, darling? All right. She's on your own. That's good. I don't know how many are left. Charlotte is the one I'm really worried about. How are you doing, darling? Okay, darling. Good girl. On the eggs. I'm going to open those two up so you can sit okay, on them. Okay, so here. thankfully Charlotte isn't too... There's four eggs left in uh, with Charlotte. She's not too distressed from her encounter yesterday, I believe, with Sheila to have a negative impact on her sitting on her eggs. So that is promising because I know there are several uh, babies uh, developing within the eggs. So now we're going to look at little Jack babies and get you all cleaned out. Look at you. Look at you. This was turned three weeks old today. You can see the difference. Oh, look at you, sweetie pie. <laughs> we're going to clean out that duty nest and I'm going to do a bit of cleaning. Hello, darling. Hello, babies. I'm going to clean you out. What's very odd is that Lemoncello is converting to like a chick when she's asking me jacks for food, which is extremely odd. She makes a little childish sound and does the um, asking, which is just really weird. I'm going to have to catch that on camera again. So it's, okay, Saturday the 14th of October 2023, and I don't think I've given the date yet, but we're in the Budgie, Budgie, you're watching Budgie Central 123, which is a daily diary of life and times of the uh, uh, birds in, in Avery, in, in Sussex, in England. And uh, we're at the moment, we're in a, a breeding Time, where Sheila, Prince, uh, Charlotte and Sparkles have got now four eggs each. Unfortunately, they both lost. Well, unfortunately, um, Sheila has uh, destroyed a couple of eggs and sadly Charlotte's destroyed, or Prince, it, Charlotte and Sparkles. I don't know which one's doing it, but yeah, they've, they've uh, two... But three eggs have been destroyed, which had signs of life in them, so very sad. We have lemon cello and jack, six little ones. They're still the youngest, very tiny. We have the one that's, that's three weeks old today, 21 days. And I'll show you that in a bit later. So here are the six. One, two, three, four. <laughs> That's six. And the youngest is there. The youngest is now 12 days old. And the eldest is 21. And this is the eldest right here. Three weeks today. And then the uh, other, the next two down are 20 days old. Although the one I think is a bit smaller than the other. But aren't they just gorgeous? So this is in regular video mode and I'm going to now change it to cinematic. So this is in cinematic mode. So you can see how the camera focuses on various portions of the bird's faces. Okay. Just kind of moves around, interestingly. See all six gorgeous little miracles. They are miracles. Every life is a miracle. God's miracles. Mm -hmm. Quite relaxed now. A bit panicky before, but they're all quite relaxed after we've got them out of that poop fest. I'm gonna have to clean some of their tootsies, unfortunately, because oh, and the one, the white one, mainly white with the black. That's the one whose heart we saw beating in the in the egg. And that this one is now. It was born on the 26th of September, so it's the 14th, but four, 18 days old. There we go. 18 days old right there. Miracle. All right, girl, you hungry. All right, let's get you in to have some food. All right, sweetie pies, yes. Let's get you back into the nice clean nest. We'll take a look. Two lovely clean nests now. The part these kids are going to hate the most because I want to wash their feet. Hello, darling. Oh, look at you all. Look at you, we're going to wash your feet. Twitchy time, feet washing time, darling. He's a little one who's 12 days old. You can see, you've got little 
white spikes so you're going to be white mainly as well my darling in your wings we've got to clean those dirty feet all right these are little ones but two of them i've cleaned their feet i've got to clean the others but i have to get them warm again i breathe on them with my i breathe on them to get them warm again i've got them trying to get their little tootsies clean so they're clean enough just got to get the worst of it off you know how Lemon Tella, she does the, like the babies do? She didn't used to do before. She didn't used to do like the babies. Look at her. That is so funny. She does a little baby sound. That is so odd. Have him feed her. She does a little baby sound, which is what the, the chicks do to get the parents to feed. They're asking for food. So they're tucked up under my top to get warm again because I, you know, I can't help it but their feet get a little bit cold even though I use warm water. They don't have a lot on them but I do need to clean their feet as best as possible. I can't get it all off because it just sticks like glue and I don't like traumatising poor little darlings but they'll feel better once they get clean. I'm having one more clear. One more clean of their nest until for the night. We're going to put some stuff on. Hey, hey, hey. 